hope you are doing well. In this session, we will take a look at one of the frequently asked interview questions based on SQL for data analytics and data engineering profile. Let's take a look at the data set that we have for this example. We have employee table where we have fields like employee ID, employee name, employee department, and employee cell. We are going to solve this question, this task, using two different methods. Now, the task that we have got is we need to get list of employees who are taking high salary in each department. So, let's start with method one. Solution query and table DDL along with insert statement is provided in the description box. Please go and check it out. So, first of all, I will say select from what is the table we have in schema dbo tbl emp cell now here i am going to use join and group by method to get the result so first of all i will get department id and maximum salary of that department so i will give it a table alias as es as employee cell and i will refer using refer to table fields using table alias es department id and es dot salary i want maximum salary not just the salary and I will give a column alias as max salary. As we have used aggregated function, aggregation function, and we also have a field which is not aggregated in the select list, we need to use group by clause, and we need to use a field which is non-aggregated, field that included in the select clause, and it is non-aggregated. So this is the reason where we get department ID, sorry, department name, and it's maximum salary. Now I will enclose wrap this select statement inside CT with clause with keyword name of the CT as keyword open bracket to open the CT close bracket to close the CT and within open and close bracket we will have our select state. Now the result of this select statement will be temporarily available to the next select query select statement that we write after CT. Now here I will say select from this time I will use actual table emp cell es2 I will give a table alias as es2 and I will join this table with inner join with ct cte c and join condition will be on es2 dot department id is equal to c dot department id and es2 dot employee salary is equal to c dot max salary. as a part of the result I want to include few columns from the table that is department or I can also take all the fields but we need to find employee by department who are taking maximum salary so we can say e2 dot star and let's run this query now f5 and I can see that in ta department we have employee Mahesh who is taking maximum salary at 5000 right if we take a look at the result of this query f5 what is the maximum salary for ta it was 5000 and if we take a look at the data set in TA we have these employees and among these employees we have Mahesh who is taking highest salary in TA department. So this was first method. In second method we will use window function. So I will again write select from dbo dot employee salary as es and I will use es dot star. I will include all the column and I will write derive one more column using dense rank function over and here we need to partition by es dot uh, let me do that here es dot department. So we can copy this field name partition the data by department id and rank the values within department by the order of employee salary. I can take that from here. This is the column value in descending order. So highest salary in each department will have first rank, second highest salary will have second rank and so on. I will give it a column alias as salary rank. Let's try to execute this query. It says incorrect syntax. What is incorrect here? We need to Okay, uh, here we miss order by, that's why ES was getting highlighted. If I execute this query, I can see by each department, I get the list of employees and their salary is ranked. Now, employees rank by the salary and highest salary is given first rank, second highest salary is given two and so on. If you take a look at department BE, there are two employees who are getting same salary, employee Rajiv and employee Sagar. Both are having salary as thousand. So both will get same rank using dense rank function and next employee will get next rank. Now I will wrap this query inside CT again using with keyword name of the CT as keyword open bracket to open CT close bracket to close CT. So I will write CTE sorry select from CTE C and I will say I want all star means all and then 
I will include a condition where sal underscore rnk. So I will give it a c dot alias. Not sure why are we not getting the help here. Is equal to rank is equal to one. Select star from city. Yeah, it is not when it is where. Now this will include all the columns along with rank. If you don't need rank, you can mention the list of columns that you want as a part of the result. But these are the employees who are getting highest salary in each department. So I hope you understood both the ways that I explained. If you are new on our channel, then subscribe us and visit our channel to watch more such videos.